It's called therapeutic cloning. I think what you saw with physics and, and with airplanes and with penicillin and the telephone, that's what you're going to see here in biology. <laughs> in little Kelly Rich's case, therapeutic cloning could conceivably create new brain cells to replace the defective ones she has now. Thank you! That's why last year, Gordy made a major decision. He sold a company he owned and invested in ACT's therapeutic cloning research desperately hoping for a cure. It will eventually come. I have no doubt about that. But will it come in time to help Kelly? And what about going all the way, cloning not just body parts, but an entire human being? ACT's Robert Lanza says it's very likely. It sounds to me like what you're saying is it wouldn't surprise you if the announcement came out in two or three years that indeed a human had been cloned. No. It's that possible? Yes. Ironically, it would be very easy for Lanza himself to make it happen. All he'd have to do is implant one of ACT's embryonic human clones into a woman's womb and let it grow to term. Are you ever tempted as a scientist to go beyond that 14-day limit to allow that little ball of cells to develop into something further? No, no, absolutely not. We, uh, I don't think any reputable scientist would consider that safe or ethical.